Hi and welcome to this short video celebrating the five, fifth anniversary of the Wasco Brown Foundation and the conclusion of our first programme, the WB100. Over the next few minutes we will give you a flavour of what we've been up to this past five years. We launched in 2014 with a programme that helps us connect with our local business communities. This was in response to a call from business leaders and government for the private sector to step up to the plate and help regenerate our local community and local economy. The foundation is our response to that, a private sector initiative put together by the partners and founders of Wasco Brown. We're very proud to say that in the past five years we have helped 967 organisations in some way and in the past three years alone we've made 460 business-to-business -business introductions cementing our role as a local connector organisation. So we continue with our original pledge to help regenerate our economy and create some jobs. In 2016 we delivered our Enterprising Partners programme which was attended by 400 businesses, social enterprises, charities and sports clubs across the region. There was a huge buzz in the rooms. Uh, what really helped the process is we had seven hot topic desks around the room, networking in the middle and the opportunity to speak one-to-one -to, -one to an expert. And now let's hear from a few of the companies we've worked with over the past five years. Hello, I'm Natalia, the founder of Pira Panela and I import panela from Colombia, which is a natural alternative to refined sugar. I started my business from 2015 and I was very lucky to meet uh, the Wasco Brown Foundation. And it was very crucial for me at the time uh, because they offer um, an opportunity for businesses like me to go to workshops, seminars, and, and to learn the basics that you need to know to run your own business. Recently, I have uh, raised investment for Piero Panella and that has helped uh, to actually go to the next stage of the business. I also started a new business with a business partner and it's called Loro Crisps and we are importing a plantain and cassava chips from Colombia and that is going really well. So I'm back into starting again but with a lot of lessons that I have learned. Now the cleaners, we've been part of the foundation since day one really. Back when I launched we used the Bosco Brown meeting rooms uh, to conduct our very first interviews. And six months after launching, when I quit my job in London, I moved up full-time to Sheffield and the foundation offered me incubation space. To have a professional corporate office space was brilliant for us. Speaking to other businesses and seeing that where they are in their journey and other small businesses really helps you learn a lot. I came from a PLC environment where I had all the resources and teams to, to use at my disposal. Coming to an office man team of one, it can be quite lonely. On to the business itself, so we launched really with £200 on a laptop and now the cleaners now have 50 staff and we're doing well over 50000 in monthly revenue. I'm tremendously happy with the progress to date, however we are working really hard to make sure con continuous improvement is being, being made to our services so that we can continue to grow. My name's Kieran Toner, I'm the uh, founder of Future Performance Technology Limited. About six years ago I came up with an idea to develop a business that was surrounding my profession in football. As an ex-professional footballer turned football coach, elite football coach, I kind of recognised that we needed to do more. So literally sat at home thinking about how I could change uh, and help what, what's currently going on in developing young players in the game. I stumbled really upon Wasco Brown. When I think back to some of the conversations that we've had and brainstorming, the foundation have enabled me to, uh, I suppose, mature in business, really recognising what the key things I needed to think about. I mean, if you can imagine people come up with ideas all the time, but they don't know how to take that from, from an idea and a concept to something that they can, you know, they can really feed. You know, it can be challenging, it can be frightening, 
and I sort of felt that, that I had someone there to support me that I could lean on uh, and that was the foundation. To say the foundation now has been five years going, it's been, you know, I, I've been there a long way through that period. Without that support, uh, it would have been really difficult for me to stand here now and, and sort of be proof of how you can get from nowhere really to, to, to being on the cusp of delivering something in the business world. You know, I thank the foundation uh, from the bottom of my heart for helping me uh, really fulfill something that I've been dreaming of for a long time and uh, long may the foundation continue to help others. And now for two huge thank yous. First of all, we must thank the entrepreneurs and professionals who've helped us on our journey over the past five years, mentoring startups and helping them on their business journey. Without your support, our impact wouldn't have been as huge. My name's Dan Brookman, I'm the CEO uh, of a uh, technology company, a Sheffield technology company called Toggle um, and Airship. Uh, so we operate two platforms, we work in hospitality and leisure, we've been doing it around 15 years. I have been an owner and an operator of businesses since I was 18 years old, um, this is my 14th company that I'm on currently. I was introduced to the Wasco Brown Foundation pretty much at its inception uh, and have been working with it to help with local businesses and startups and people thinking that they have an idea to help them formulate a plan and also to give assistance where required around specific uh, expertise around marketing and digital marketing and social media of which I have quite a lot of knowledge. I think the foundation is critical uh, in uh, to have something like this is really good for Sheffield. It's very important for startup businesses and for people that have an idea or even early growth businesses to have the opportunity to connect with people like me, uh, but also um, their peers and also with people who can offer expertise and assistance as they go through their growth pains and also help them avoid making some of the mistakes certainly that I've made uh, over the years. I think the hardest thing when you start up is uh, the confidence and building the confidence in the uh, proposition that you have or the idea that you have or the invention that you have um, to get that out and get it in front of people and get honest opinions back from people. And again, the foundation really from an IP perspective, from a legal perspective, from an accounting perspective, from a creative perspective as far as the people that can be introduced uh, is a really great idea and Wasco Brown um, does a great job of it and you know I think the number of people that have been helped over the period, I think over 900 now, um, is testament to the demand there is for a service like this. And it's not a paid service. I think that's the, the, the kind of a crucial thing to say. It's something that's on hand, you know, through networking, through masterclasses, um, uh, through one-to-one -one mentoring. So yeah, I wholly support uh, Wasco Brown Foundation and look forward to seeing what happens in the next five years. And our second huge thank you must go to the founders and partners at Wasco Brown, without whose vision and commitment none of this would have happened. At our launch event, the founders Michael and David invited the business community to help us on this journey. And we'd have to say that the business community accepted that invite and have certainly delivered. So a huge thank you there too. So that's a quick review of our first five years. We hope you can join us in the next part of the journey. And now, finally, a word from our president, Richard Cabon. Well, it's been an incredibly successful five years. I think we've led the foundations effectively for the next five years. You know, in an area probably of the greatest deprivation here in Atticliffe, there is real, you know, uh, green shoots of growth. And part of that has been around what's been done at Wasco Brown using this initiative to make sure that we've got long-term economic and social sustainability. That's the foundation. We move on, I think, to an exciting five years in Attercliffe and beyond.